Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's home buyer tip. With us today is Brian Thompson with NRL Mortgage. How are you doing, Brian? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Scott. Hey, um, so today we're talking about a topic that we get a lot of questions about, and that topic is bankruptcy and how it relates to a home purchase. Can I purchase a home if I am going through bankruptcy, if I've recently filed bankruptcy, or I have one in the past? So, Brian, I'm going to look to you for insight on this topic. Yeah, thanks, Scott. It's an interesting topic because a lot of people are uneducated about what exactly they need to do after a bankruptcy to be able to purchase a home. Um, the different types of bankruptcies, the more common ones are Chapter 7 and Chapter 13. And Chapter 13, you can actually buy right out, one day out. Um, you just need and what's some, the difference between 13 and 7? Uh, 13 is a repayment. Okay. Seven means your debt is being wiped clean. Okay. Okay. So 13 with the repayment plan, you can buy one day out. You just need some additional documents, letter from the bankruptcy attorney, so on and so forth. Chapter seven is typically a two-year waiting period. However, there exceptions can be made if it's a medical bankruptcy, um, which we see few and far between. Mm -hmm. Okay. So say I just filed bankruptcy a year ago. And it's a chapter 13. No problems buying or what, what should I be aware of? The first, I know every situation is different. Of right? course, yeah. yeah. Chapter 13, the first thing you need to do is once you file a bankruptcy is start making all your other payments on time or okay. try and reopen a different line of credit, not a line of credit, but a credit line, a credit card, whatever it may be, um, to try and reestablish your credit right away. Um, the first thing they're going to look at is clean payment history coming out of that bankruptcy. That's okay. really important. Okay. So yes, to answer your question, you got a clean payment history and your file falls in line with other qualifying factors, you can buy. And then a chapter seven, say I had one, we'll use the same scenario, a year ago. What's the path forward there? You're typically going to have to wait two years on a chapter seven. Okay. That That's the norm, but you, you still have to follow that same kind of handbook and making your payments on time, reestablishing your credit. Um, what happens with people that file a bankruptcy and then have late payments or don't pay their bills afterwards is they look at that as a pattern. Okay. And it's going to be a higher risk to obtain a home loan. Okay. And in terms of uh, rate and term and all that, does it vary if I have a bankruptcy? It does, yeah. I mean, you're, you're going to be um, you're typically on an FHA deal unless, you know, you're waiting longer. But, um, you know, typically on that two years, the short time period that we're talking about, you're going to fall into an FHA loan, which is 3.5% down. Okay. All right. And awesome. There is, um, if you're in a Chapter 7, two years out, you can get down payment assistance. So you could technically buy zero down. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then, like always, you can always ask sellers to pay closing costs and stuff to minimize That's right. your out of pocket. That's uh, right. Money you have to bring to closing. So, all right. Well, Brian, this is really helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for uh, having me. So, if someone wants to get a hold of you for more information, how do they do that? They can call or text me at 763 442 1232 or email me at brian.thompson at nrlmortgage.com. Awesome. Thank you. And then I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. Like always, if you want to get a hold of us, the number is 612 600 8888. 612 600 Call or text or 24 7 online, Verde dash realestate.com. We hope this content has been valuable. And like always, if we can be a further service, please let us know. Thank you.